can die with the niggas that you gang with. Where I'm from, we don't grind, so we tie shit. Speaking on that click, you a damn man. Nigga, fuck your dead family, your dead friends. Nigga, we with all that shit, and you know it. 20,000 on my Cuban got me frozen. Hey, what's up, what's happening? This cat, hey, we back in this thing, K. So good, he sleep with a cutter. If you don't know where that little ditty from, that little song, you know what I'm saying? We here to talk about um, Lil G from SLBRB and that gang, bitch. Yeah, I mean, we here to talk about them boys. Now, one of my favorite groups, love them boys. Too. I remember the first time I heard them was off all Fake Famous, so like a little mixtape or whatever by Mozzie. I heard Anti, and then I'm gonna go with this Anti and that other song, Fuck. Hold on, hold on, nigga, bad. We the niggas on your side, we gotta pass that. Uh uh, I had to cash that. That was my song, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That was my song. Nigga, I was outside, like, how did he got that song act bad? I was acting bad outside, boy. I was I was on a different time. I, 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 hey, you know, I was starting some problems. But, anyways, <laughs> we had to talk about it now. One of my favorite groups, I was mad that they broke up. Um, Shout out D Boy or Dub Boy. Uh, Slimmy B, Lil G, and of course Young T.O., my favorite. Fuck with that nigga, too. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with all them niggas, too. Because D Boy got some solo songs that be going. That be going crazy. But, anyways, you know what I'm saying? Had to suck it up. Just had to sum it up. No, yeah, that's my nigga. I ain't gonna lie, that's my boy. But, anyways, uh, we had talked about Lil G. So, Lil G kind of disappeared out of the aspect. He wasn't really featured on the tape. I feel like he. He got arrested off some shit because he got in trouble or whatever he did. You know what I'm saying? He was doing some shit. And I heard, like, he got locked for some shit. He, he was allegedly a part of some shit. But now, apparently, he has been sentenced to 21 years in prison for a first-degree murder. And we had to talk about it. Because I think he's a talented dude in prison. Hey, but, hey, that's how this shit go. They, hey, these are some boys running around on the block, on the streets. You know, they was doing their thing. So, I can't even sit here and be surprised. I don't know if somebody was trying to do something to him and he shot back. I don't know if this was orchestrated or planned. But, hey, like I said, when you grow up in these communities and you outside doing your thing, you handling your business. If you're a street nigga, hey, you're a comedy. Your ass might die. Your ass might come into jail. I'm not saying we can't feel sorry for him because he was a talented young man. But at the same time, you come with it. You got to understand you do come with it. I'm not saying you should not care for the individual. But at the same time, can't be surprised if shit goes left. A bird man said, sometimes shit go left. And with these guys in the streets, you have to understand it might, instead of sometimes, it might be majority of the time shit goes left. But let's talk about this thing real quick. You already know what it is. Last scrap, help your boy, I hope your boy, girl. You know what it is. You know I'm the kid. You know how I talk my itty bitty fleas. But, anyways, the former SOBXRBEMC pled. No contest to voluntary manslaughter. Also, it sucks that group broke up. I love them. I follow them, man. Anyways. <sighs> Former member of Vallejo, California rap group, SLBRBE Lil G, received a 21-year uh, prison sentence for first-degree murder this week, according to reports from the East Bay Times. Moreover, the rapper pled no contest to voluntary manslaughter, thus raising expectations that his sentence would last 21 years. Given the charges and previous court proceedings, authorities arrested the West Coast artist's real name, George Harris, back in 2019. Is it not when gang in part two? Anyway, you know what I'm saying? And faced charges of first degree murder in connection to the death of a Vallejo man, 26 year old Rashid Flowers. Furthermore, the plea deal uh, excused him from serving uh, an extended 50 year sentence if officials found him guilty. Unfortunately for Lil G, legal issues plagued him from the onset of his career alongside his group his group co-members during a cover story for the fader back in 2018 along with sob rbe he spoke on his struggles with the probation system that stems from an armed robbery and gun charges since he was 17 years 17 years old they've been making it difficult he expressed like it'll be a big opportunity sorry i thought it was a flying room that's all i with the fuck It'll be a big opportunity that none of us will probably ever see again in our lives. And they'll just tell me, no, straight up. It's like, basically, y'all want me to lose my career, so I have nothing. So I'm forced to do the stuff that have me stuck in this system. So when Harris pled no contest to the crime, Deputy uh, Public Defender Max 
Fuentes spoke with Double XL about the upcoming sentence back in March of this year. It is accurate that Mr. Harris pled no contest to voluntary manslaughter and will be serving 21 years in prison. In relation to the 2019 shooting uh, death of Mr. Flowers, he remarked, All I can say is at this point that Deputy Public Defender uh, Miss Tanasa and myself feel honored to be representing Mr. Harris and will as and as well as fortunate to have secured this plea deal on his behalf the 24 year old admitted to using his own gun in the incident which resulted in a shortened sentence meanwhile other members of sobrb continued their careers in various ways for example young to and the boy dropped a collaborative project demon and mufasa featuring nigga that was a while ago the group's members futures remain to be seen Bro, they're, they're split up now. They had some beef. They're split up. Young T.O.'s on his own. I think Slimmy B and, and D-Boy or Dub Boy is still cool and shit. But, like, yeah, everybody kind of on their own thing. They doing the, their thing. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Like, y'all are the cousins. They really need to search some shit up. Y'all just be talking out your head sometimes. But, anyways, like I said, man. Hey, he got a shorter sentence. He potentially could have got 15 years. I guess it's better than nothing. You could get out. He's 24 years old. You could live some of your life, you know. Your young days is going to be gone, but you could live some of your life. Hopefully, you saved up a couple of G's. And you still fuck with a couple of people then. When you do get it, you could go stay at the crib or whatever. But, like, we're going to see what happens, bro. Like I said, this screen, a lot of, hey, we be seeing all the glitz and glamours to the hood nigga shit. We like, yeah, hey, you know, big meech, big meech. You know what I'm saying? We be... We be telling that shit. We be happy as fuck. But, like, in situations like this, that might fuck up a nigga, nigga life. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I get it, though. I don't know if they tried to take his life. They killed his homie. I don't know the 100% story. I, hey, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we let this shit take us to some places that we shouldn't go. And that's the issue with the street shit. And that's why I always say, bro, if you... Not that you ain't built for it. I don't feel like niggas is really built for this street shit. Not to say that, but in the aspect of... You don't, like, come out the womb wanting to go catch a body, but in the sense of, hey, if you're decent, nigga, like, you don't got to be outside trapping, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, grow up and go get you a job and get your ass them Jordans you've been wanting. If you ain't got to do it, hey, nigga, kick back at home, be a hooper, you know, you could be outside, could be doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be a suit, like... Nick, you ain't gotta be the super tough nigga to be around the, the hood shit or be with the, the hood niggas. You know what I'm saying? You can have ties or whatever, but like, if you ain't really gotta be all that now, some niggas they have to do what they have to survive, so I ain't even talking about them. But like, certain niggas, bro, if you hooping, you doing whatever, bro, if that shit is glitz and glamour, and you know what, and then like, the, the, the motherfuckers from suburbia will be fucking it up because they, they just look at this shit like a, it's a movie. But, anyways. Sorry, I went on my little soliloquy, but yeah, man, it does suck. Hey, Lil G, I hope you good in there. You know what I'm saying? I hope your family good. You set some money aside for them. Make sure they scrape. That's all I really can say. Hey, and hopefully, you know, that time in there is not as taxing. And, and hey, when you get out, you get out. And to the other people, part of SOBRB, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all straight. Y'all keep doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? Y'all keep hosting up for your families and such. And all I really got to say is a lot of these stories you can learn a lot from. That's really what it is. And like I said, bro, sometimes niggas just got to do what they got to do. And sometimes you win some shit, it ain't that easy to get out. But, yeah. Besides that, hey, comment down below. Check out the links in the description. I got some other shit for y'all to check out. Besides all that, you already know what it is. It's your friendly neighborhood, KA, signing off for today. The black TJ Dead while I'm doing this thing, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I talk like that. The black TJ Dead while doing this thing. My name rembles like quasi model. Hit like subscribe. You trying to hit a little bit more to hear me? I'm gone. Slimes on P Shows gang. Aye.